Hi everybody, this is Annie and today I'm with Dan and our bee friends and we're featuring We Save Bees. Welcome to Animal Bond Academy. Hi guys. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I mean, and this is the whole point of Animal Bond Academy. I do have a whole new respect for bees now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just because, it's really cool. yeah, it's super cool. So a person's natural tendency is to rescue all the babies. Yeah. I can't. Right. Um, right. I'm only going to take what they can keep warm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we end up losing the whole colony. Oh, okay. So for those who do rescues... Um, the first half is obviously doing the rescue. The second half is make sure they stay. Yeah. We, when we do it right, we've got a 95% retention rate, meaning beehive rescue to beehive in the field. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, but that's a lot of critical steps. Yeah. And part of that is making sure that we rescue exactly what they need and only what they need. Well, I was, uh, I was really impressed when you said, I think you, you said your sister does follow up. Yeah. And making sure that they're, because that's just like with, at a humane society with right. an adoption organization, they will do that. They will do follow-ups yep. and they'll want to make sure that everything you said you were going to do to help this animal right. is actually happening. So right now I'm carving out just the babies. I don't want to take nectar. I don't want to take any of their food and put it inside the box. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to take the babies exclusively. Yeah. That's all the larva. Wow. So you can see the little grubbies in, on the inside mm -hmm. at the bottom. That's fresh larva, probably about five to six days old. Ah, oh. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. you're going to get your hands in here in a minute. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> So you were saying about twenty or thirty thousand. Does this look about right to yeah. you? Okay. Spot on. It's crazy. We just get the entrance from like this angle and let them crawl in. Got it. Ah, so. oh, cool. <laughs> You've got people, people, you've got bees established in there already. Yeah. And then they just go in on their own. Yeah. That is cool. Their carpet. Nice. White carpet treatment. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to scoop your hand here. Okay. And just let them crawl into your hands. Just uh, like that. Like so. Okay. Oh. Uh, set them down on the... Yeah. Then they're going to go right at the entrance. Right here. Got it. So under like this. Mm -hmm. And then scoop like this. Yep. There we go. Keep going, keep going, oh. keep going. All the way up. Yeah. There we go. I can feel them buzzing yeah. in my hand. Cool. That is so cool. Right. <laughs> Except I thought I wasn't such a klutz. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Sorry, ladies. There you go. Is your new house. Then you can probably finagle your fingers through here as well. Oh, there's another one. There you go. Yep. Okay. And just up and then probably this way or that way. That's the weirdest feeling. Yeah. It is such a cool feeling. All right. Oh. 
both hands and up to your thumb. There you go. Nice. All right, one more scoop, Annie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go this way okay. and up. All the way up? Yep, all the way up to the top. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. They're just so delicate, I'm afraid of Oh, them. no, they're they're more hardy than you think. No, but... What? What? I know. <laughs> Little ladies. All right, Roger. You ready for the next part? Uh, so you... Oh, you're good, Roger. Oh, you're fine. Uh-oh. And then you can see them crawl into the box. Too soon. Yeah, see this in. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. Yep. They just go right in. They're like, there's the rest of the group. Go back to your house. There are your friends over there. Wow. Yeah, I was wondering how you got them all in there. I thought that you would actually have to cut the hive and place the whole, but wow. <laughs> Much quicker. I'm kind of speechless. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, working with their natural behavior because right. the babies are inside, no babies here. Right. So they're incentivized to go. They're going to go yeah. to help the babies, yeah. You know, it was so funny because when you invited that family down and yep. you and Roger went back up to the truck and so I was talking to them for a little bit and I was just talking about, you know, the human animal bond isn't just about dogs and cats and the family was looking at me like I was freaking nuts. You know? <laughs> but I think that this, you know, this is a great example of, of what we're talking about, you know, and, and supporting that behavior and making sure that you can save as many lives as possible right and this yeah this is a connection between humans and bees right here this is amazing right and i think you know people think about just 
you know, can I hold it? Can I kiss it? <laughs> and then if I can't, then what bond is there? You right. know, and it's, it, it just shows itself in so many different ways. And it doesn't necessarily have to be love. Yep. You know, it's about respect. Right. <laughs> Roger, you're covered in bees. <laughs> Bill's character. <laughs> <laughs> um, some depends on the situation or the circumstance yeah we will do we will set this up to collect the what we call the stragglers because right now there's a bunch of bees flying around looking for food yeah and they're flying right back to the tree so Got right it. before we leave we're going to take this over the tree grab whatever's there and then there's going to be some leftovers okay uh, because so i have a nectar pile and then a scrap pile okay the whatever honey we pull from these goats fed right back to the bees okay yeah you know it's just when you're and when you're holding the handful of bees you can just like feel that energy you know that they're working together as a group cohesive unit yep that's why when we work with them we don't treat the individual bee or we, we don't treat them like individuals we right. treat them as a one super organism right which right. allows us to do stuff like this which is a lot more smooth and efficient because otherwise what ends up happening is people will try to take their sweet time mm -hmm. going through carving every single thing out but what ends up happening is those babies die that's right, because they have to stay at a certain temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Got and it. then if they die, the whole and then the next day the bees will bail. Yeah. And then so the whole thing's for naught. Right. Right. So yeah. it's a it's kind of counterintuitive, but that's just from years of doing this. And what's the most efficient way that we can do this mm -hmm. uh, methodically every single time to ensure more bees stay, mm -hmm. without doing things like caging the queen or right. any right. of that stuff, which is what most people that do removals do. They find the queen cager, force her to stay, stay put. Yeah. And in my opinion, that's abnor abnormal. Right. So we try to do anything that's, we try to minimize the things that are abnormal. I mean, this whole thing is abnormal anyways. Right, right, right. Because a hive would never remo move themselves in this manner. Right. So how many people do you have on your team right now? Uh, right now, during uh, winter time, we slow down a bit. But summertime, I typically will have about five to six full-time employees okay and then a bunch of uh, part-timers uh, peak season we might have up to uh, like a slower year maybe 13 to 15 employees okay and then in my heyday probably about 20 20 22 ish okay but we have really long hours so they yeah. they just rotate through yeah. and are they people that are interested in bees or just like yeah Cool uh, a job. <laughs> yeah well for 90 well to do do this you be, yeah. yeah you kind of have to be yeah but there's varying degrees of that my most passionate ones are like bee fanatics yeah like yeah. absolute fanatics uh some of you guys do it just because it's a cool job yeah yeah like it takes a unique character to do this like day right. in day out right platforms just to keep them from crawling underneath the box. Okay. <laughs> yep, so you can see these bees with their butts in the air, flapping their wings. Mm -hmm. That's them releasing a new pheromone that says, hey, we're moving. Oh. How many that's do called, you... you said that's called fanning? Fanning, yeah. How many do you mm -hmm. think are in that box right uh, now? It should be about 20-ish. Okay. 20, yeah, roughly 20,000. And then we're going to cruise over there and see what, what's left on the tree. Okay. And then start cleaning up. But the babies are right in there. Mm -hmm. okay. And you can see the bees clustering on them. If you, uh, and if you put your hand in here, you can feel how warm it is. Did I go in for yeah. 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 Very cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs>
Awesome. He's re he's saving them. Maybe. It depends on where uh, who ends up adopting them. Uh, these might end up, uh, so we're trying to set up, we're working with Balboa Park to get them set up uh, here on site. Uh, not here, but uh, over by where they have all their equipment. And so they're trying to create space for us to do all the rescues from Balboa Park to there. So that's the plan at least. And that's the nice yeah. thing is that you appreciate the hive. And so they're not just getting exterminated. He's actually saving them and relocating it. That's really cool, huh? Uh, if you email us, dan at wesavebees.com, and then just ask where this ended up, I'll, I'll track them down. I'll make sure that you guys can have visiting rights. <laughs> dan at wesavebees. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> See, that's so, and that's totally cool too. I mean, there are people that have you know, loved that hive and they want to make sure that the lives inside of that hive are, are good. Yeah. So just a small cluster. Yep. Oh, look, yeah. Look at that. Yep. Okay, round two. That's it for us, everybody. Thank you so much to Bee Man Dan and We Save Bees, and we'll see you next time on Animal Bond Academy. Bzzz. <laughs> <laughs>